Hey, it's me, Bob Dimitri, and welcome back to my Yes Play of New Super Lucky's Tale. We're almost uh, near the end of uh, this uh, world. Still got some ice puzzle blocks uh, left over. I say we're at the final one. I'm not sure it's at this part or the next part. Um, one more stage and then the next part would be the boss battle. Uh, this one, I I believe I have an easier time on this one, but usually this one gives me a hard time. So, pretty much what I'm going to do here. Going to push this back. Uh, push, uh, I think. You know, it feels like I have a much different idea in mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Again, this is pre recorded and it's interesting looking back at the puzzle, and sometimes I think that. Oh no, no, uh, there's one thing I have to do, and that's uh, get a statue at that edit end over there, so. What I have to do is push that lady. Uh, hopefully, past me sees it already. Push. Yep. There we go. All right. Uh, now there's a second problem. I need to get the uh, statue on that area over there. And I do think past me is realizing that and trying to f uh, put the pieces of the puzzle together. So, okay, not exactly what I was expecting. To, oh, okay, uh, the, okay, sometimes we think too much about something. Uh, if you ask the um, solution, it's actually very simple. Again, these sliding block puzzles is a nice distraction. Uh, I wouldn't personally want to see them in the next game, but maybe a, you know a few of them. But the reach should focus more on the platforming rather than uh, puzzles. Uh, I think the um, puzzle kind of bring down this game a little bit. I mean, they're a fine distraction, but that's at best. At worst, it just seems like a uh, a bit of um, padding. At least uh, that's what it feels like to me. I mean, I, I don't hate the uh, selling black, black puzzles, but uh, but not exactly a fan either. I mean, just some I enjoyed thought it was pretty good, but. But for the most part, it's just, again, it's just a nice distraction. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is pretty much focus on the uh, fox uh, statues for the most part. Okay, so all right, so this one's pretty easy. Just so cross that off, and that should make everything a bit easier on paper, at least. Okay, so kind of a new problem here. Okay, so putting that there is pretty easy. Okay, so there is just bring this one down to that corner over there, and pretty easy. That's 
the easiest puzzle compared to the other one we did in this um in this world. Let's see. So pretty much uh, I believe we got I know one more stage for sure but it was at the last sign uh, black person I feel like it wasn't let's see so oh we I think we have two more actually oh we get it uh, we get to this part where we talk to the um, totally normal golem guy. Uh, pretty much, uh, he's going to talk about uh, Lady Mamade. Again, nice little sweet stuff. I, for I think I forgot to talk to him at Restful Retreat. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so I think there's only two unique uh, lines he has. Uh, no, you can't destroy the speakers in uh, the overworld, just in that one level. Okay. Okay, so this one seems straightforward, but of course this has to be a catch. Ooh, got them both at the same time again, I can do that. Okay, so Well, you have to get this in the middle, but the problem is, is that it always stops at the next side area. So we're just going to move that there. Okay, seems like I'm just going in circles here. So I got all four statues on one side. I feel like I went back uh, right when I started with all the statues in position, in his um, original position. Yeah, I can't believe this one gave me a bit of a hard time. It'd be nice to have that lady statue on the ground there, but we can't use it. Okay, so we got the statues in the middle there. All right, there we go. Again, they're easy to solve, but explaining it is actually uh, harder than actually solving the puzzle. Yeah, technically, Nikki is not a guardian yet. Uh, but he will get a test to uh, pretty much uh, confirm that he's a guardian, but right now he's uh, not a, um official guardian. And pretty much a guardian is protector of the book of um, each world you go through. 
And the diva is uh, his sister, Nyla. And she's accompanied by uh, three other people. One looks like the Macho Man. Again, that Lucas again. Uh, we're not sure what Lucas' uh, part of the story is right now. Again, I'm really interested where they take uh, the sequel, uh, story-wise. But anyways, we get the return of uh, Mittens and Fluffy, uh, the antagonist of uh, the Restful Retreat world. There we go. Oh, whoa, almost died right there. But this is a 2D section. Pretty easier than the uh, maze section or the little open world section, even though uh, level design wise is um, pretty basic. I like the little music there with the uh, xylophone. Okay, you see that barrel right there? And you see those cannons right there? And that cat? Again, I didn't put the DLC for the Xbox One version. And some of the uh, story had to be uh, rewritten. I uh, wanted. Wondering how much of the story was rewritten for um, this version of the game. Because uh, the story for the Xbox One version and the Nintendo Switch version are not the same. Like, uh, basically, you know, the uh, main part is the same. Gotta stop uh, Jinx and his kitty litter from uh, taking over the um, Lost World. Uh, that's still the same, but. They added some new stuff in there that would change the dialogue of, um... Well, not every dialogue, uh, some of it is quite the same. I try to get down there to get the view. Dang it. I keep hitting that cram. But, uh, dialogue was changed a bit for this version. And I'm wondering how much, uh was changed in the original Xbox One version. Again, now I got the DLC. And it's been a while since I put the original version. I'm definitely going to put that again and try to compare the two. Anyways, try to get up there. Come on. Get those um, angry bird knockoff. Pretty much look like angry birds. Like it's a bird. It's angry. It's a red one. I mean, it's hard not to make the comparison there. Oh, so, yeah, run into the missile. Uh, yeah, those missiles are pretty easy to dodge. And I usually make easy mistakes like that to get hit. There we go. Got the bomb. But this is a decent level. Again, uh, not really anything uh, unique or special. It's, uh, you know, You've seen this kind of stage before, especially in uh, the new Donkey Kong Country game, pretty sure. It, even the old ones. Uh, that one's uh, section in Donkey Kong Country 3 uh, immediately comes to mind. With the, uh, with the owl shooting the um, Shido Puff from the um, background. Okay. Yep. So there, we have a funny hidden page there. Gotta get all the coins. 
But even though this game is uh, pretty decent, uh, you know, if I would have to give it a rating, it'd be a 7 out of 10. But it's a pretty solid 7. But I do think the, um, the uh, story for the um, sequel have a lot of potential to be pretty great. I don't know, I, I just want to see what they do next with it, even though it may not live up to expectation to be honest. Like, not in a bad way, I still think it be a pretty decent game. It's just probably not uh, what I'm expecting for the most part. It's probably going to be more the same. Uh, maybe have more playable characters like like uh, Lucky's sister Lyra. Uh, that, that would definitely be an uh, interesting uh, new addition. So now we can face to face. Oh, oh, almost got me there. Oh, here, okay. Pretty much we gotta do this. Uh, get close to the, uh, <coughs> to the cannons over here. Oh, I, I did end up getting hit. Oh, good thing the um, barrels don't have that much explosion. <laughs> Alright, next part is the boss battle, and it's probably the best boss battle in this game. And that's pretty much it for this part, and for this level. We still got one more of the um, siding block puzzle, but the uh, next part's going to be pretty short. And, like I said before, the best boss battle in the game. So, stay tuned for that. This is me, Bobby W, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh, I did just one more thing, and it's a show off first. Oh, that's a good name for the level, Dream Kind of Salute. Uh, Letting Memory again. She really liked the spotlight. <laughs> she got the best dialogue. Anyways, that's the end of the part. Catch you guys later.